out of interest, wanting to explore with doubt, which is gone, <laughs> what is doubt versus intuition? How do you know if it's doubt or intuition? How do because you know? doubt is not intuition. Intuition is not doubt. <laughs> doubt is the devil. <laughs> yeah. Doubt is the opposite. So the desire is alive and well, and you feel an impulse. That's intuition. You feel an impulse. When you doubt it, that's activating a belief that isn't allowing it to flow. Doubt is the indication that you have just disallowed intuition. Now we know what the deeper question is, how do I know if this is a good idea or not a good idea? If it feels life-giving to you, it's a good idea. That's why we are happy to have this discussion about beliefs because many times you pick up beliefs along your physical trail and you believe that those beliefs are the way that you should live. And we say, if the belief makes you feel happy, if it makes you feel passionate, if, if it is causing a feeling of euphoria, if it's causing a feeling of elation, then it is a belief that is serving. But if it is a belief that feels uncomfortable, then it is a desire challenging belief that has no place in your world. And it's time for you to morph it or bridge it as we just did into something that serves. And you can apply that in any area of your life. Every subject, Every subject. any area, any time. So one more question we have for you. Is it of value to you to sync up with the energy that creates worlds? Is there value, power, speed, enlivenment, life in the energy or focus that comes from your source? So it is of enormous advantage for you to sync with source. Do you think your source is focused on your desire or your doubt? Desire. That is, in fact, the reason that you feel doubt. You found a thought so far apart from what source knows that that doubt is the feeling that you have when you're focused upon a bogus belief that is hindering you from the desire. So the interesting thing, oh, you've been listening to us for a while, and we've been talking to you about the creation of this vortex. And now, newly, in these gatherings that we've been experiencing together, you are now understanding that that vortex is turning from a vibration into a thing and that that desire that you receive is one of the first translations. It's one of the first realizations of that vibration turning into reality. In other words, this is how worlds are created. And so you gave birth to all of the components and now here it is becoming a reality. And so doesn't it interest you rather than threaten you? Doesn't it please you rather than worry you. Doesn't it please you to know that even with all of the beliefs that you currently hold about what is and about the status quo, that out of that can be born new, that is still achievable? And aren't you just now getting the sense of what the process is of fostering the desire rather than keeping a hindering belief alive? Can't you feel yourself wanting to do that rather than that? Yes. To encourage the desire? So what kinds of things might you do to encourage a desire? Get general about it if beliefs are threatening it. Find the feeling place of it. Get unconditional about it. So what is it, if you don't mind returning to this former desire, what is the feeling, not the action, not the behavior? What's the feeling of this desire that you hold. What does that feel like? The word clarity. Clarity. Clarity comes. Empowerment. Empowerment. Alignment. Right place, right time. Source flowing. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Enough? Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>